Hey guys, uh, this is the next video in the Beginner's Fly Tying series. This will be uh, number 10, if I ain't mistaken. Today we're going to discuss elk hair and more or less the, the a fly that is used to tie, and that is the caddis. There's been more trout caught off a caddis fly probably than any of them that's that uh has been made, especially a dry fly like this. And with the caddis, you can tie it with so many different things. You can tie it with elk hair. You can tie it with um, deer hair. So the uh, the elk hair, it kind of kind of acts the same as the deer hair that we had tied in the last video. So we will. We're going to tie us a caddis today, and this is early season elk, and it's bleached. Early season elk. And this is not a long hair. This is kind of a short hair. It's kind of like uh, the deer body hair that we use, and it will flare out pretty good too. So let's flip it around, and we'll get this one going. All right, we're going to be using a size 10 hook, dry fly hook. We'll get it uh, put in the vise. I'm going to be using a cream thread, and this is a 140 die. So we're going to start it right behind the, the eye and we're going to run it all the way back just about to the barb of the hook because I want, I want enough area there to tie the material in that we're going to be working with. All right with this one we're going to also use a hackle feather which is kind of a, uh, a white grizzly. It's just got the grizzly pattern to it. And this is the, the hackle feather. And when you're gauging your hackle feathers, what you're trying to do is use a hackle that's gonna be as long as the hook itself when you're tying it in there. So you see them bars when you come around with it, it's coming all the way to the bottom of the hook. So that's the right size for a size 10. Okay. So we're gonna start off tying in this hackle feather. And we're gonna catch it over here in the material holder. Catch it right there. Then we're gonna tie in piece of copper wire and this is a, a small diameter copper wire we're gonna put it back when we do the rest of it then we're gonna use some rabbit dubbing and I'm gonna use the, this one right here which is a light shadow So we're gonna put it on the on your thread. Just kind of roll it on. I think last time we used a dubbing loop. This time we're just gonna put it flat on your thread. My fingers, it seems like it does better when I'm working with dubbing to just kind of dampen the tip of my fingers. All right, we're going to curve this up just about to the eye, and then just pull off the excess. All right, then we're going to start wrapping this hackle feather, and I want pretty tight wraps here because 
got to remember we're tying a top order fly it's going to be a floating it will float by itself for a little while but you can put floating on it and you have a lot of material for that floating to adhere to kind of clean up the head a little bit now we're going to take the wire and run it counterclockwise to what we did to the hackle and what this does if the fish is able to get on that hackle and break it if you don't put some kind of a safety catch right there that, that whole fly will unravel okay now we're going to use the wing and we're going to use this short elk hair and we're going to see that's a little much so what I'm going to do is start pulling some of it out till I get the right amount of what I want in the hair for the wing really that's about it right there Right, we're going to stack it so we're going to stick it in our stacker like I showed you before just take and tap it then separate it and there's your stacked hair ready to tie in alright this wing you want it to be the same length as to fly itself and you can go a little bit longer it ain't going to hurt anything so that's about it right there. All right, we're gonna tie it in. All right, you see how that hair is flaring out? That's the same way, if you remember, that's how we done the uh, deer hair. All right, gonna finish it off with a whip finish. Then this front piece right here what you want to do is just cut it at an angle you're not trying to get rid of all that hair you want to have the head on it and that my friends is an elk hair caddis fly and that will catch many many trout for you and I also use this on sunfish too like brim it's a it's just an awesome tie. And like I say, it's been tied for so many years. And you can tie them with just about any hair, but I like them with the, the deer body hair and this elk hair. And this is also a body hair. Like I say, it's an early season elk. But that is elk hair caddis. You're going to love tying these. These are very enjoyable tying. There's not a lot to them, and you can whip out a, a good many of them to put in your tackle box pretty quick. But I also tie that in a, a orange, a green, a tan, a black. You name it, man. It's, it's awesome. And don't forget the olives. Um, but until next time, y'all get out, enjoy your lake, and enjoy your time at the beach. I mean at the beach, <laughs> not beach. And I hope you're uh, enjoying this tying series. And if you have any flies that you want me to tie, just ask me, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see if we can't get to them. Y'all have a good one.